everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh Reviewing 2022 year to date results for the Gap Options newsletter. This is with an advanced risk, and I am going to go over that. It's 548,475. These are just options, okay? This is something that you would receive if you sign up for the Options newsletter. The trades come to you in live time. Now, there are many trades that are sent in the pre-market. You cannot trade options in the pre-market, but you would know what to do then into the open. And I'll go over that here in a minute. Uh, if you have questions, you can email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. You can call me at 929-3200-GAP. You can also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. So right now it's earnings season, and we have four quarterly earnings seasons in the year. I trade gaps, I only do gaps, and gaps usually have a lot of momentum, volume, and volatility, which is what makes them good to trade because you can take a small position in something or even one contract, and if you get a big move, you can make a lot of money. We've had some trades like that this year. Uh, January was a very volatile month. Now, February, not so much since we're started. A couple days here, almost two weeks into the into the into February actually now that I think about it but January was a really busy month for us uh, just because there was a lot of volatility and I do think that that's going to continue at some time we have a huge number tomorrow that could create some volatility in the market again volatility doesn't necessarily mean a sell-off it could mean a rally volatility is something that happens that's unexpected that people do not expect creates big moves in momentum and then you get these nice big moves in the options as long as they're in the right direction. So 2022 is upon us. Happy New Year, everyone. Still very early in the year. Plenty of time to make your dreams come true. If you've been following me and you've been thinking about doing options, you've got the entire rest of the year to join. So you've got plenty of time to jump in on the letter. And again, this is advanced trader risk, which we're going to go over, but you can risk a small amount in options. And the nice thing about options is you don't need a margin account to do options either. So, so far year to date, 2022, we have had 42 winners, six losers, zero break-evens, and an 88% win ratio year to date. That's very good. Now, again, this is showing you profit results for an $8,000 average risk per trade, which is 548,475. You could have taken a smaller amount. And I, I'm trying to do videos. It's, it's very time consuming for me, but I'm trying to do videos to, for people to see beginner risk. Um, I've had some really nice testimonials from people who've been doing one contract with the profits. Uh, just recently, there was a big trade in Facebook where people made almost $5,000 in one contract of that because we were in it into the earnings. So just because you're, if you wanna take a beginner amount, doesn't mean you can't make really nice profits or have a big win ratio either. Again, it's all about having more winners than losers. That's how anyone gets ahead. That's how you can take a small account and build it up to a larger account. And again, options trades are, you pay the cost of it, it's not a margin. So here's an example of one that we did. This was not a pre-market call. It was later in the day on a Tuesday, January 18th. We did the 3,100 Amazon puts. It expired on that Friday, which was kind of a tight trade, but I'll do things like this all the time. Cost was $21 for contracts, risk was $8,400, sold at $72. Profit was $20,400, which was a 243% return in investment. So say you wanted to take one. Again, you can't take any less than one. It essentially is like 100 shares of, of, of Amazon. And again, see how cost effective it is. Let me go to the chart here a minute. I mean, you can see the price of Amazon. So obviously, it's a heck of a lot cheaper doing options than Amazon the day trading it. And, and to be honest with you, we don't day trade it. It's just too expensive, it's too spreading. It makes sense only to do a stock at this price point to do as options. But you've gotta get the timing right, okay? And you've gotta get the direction right, and you've gotta get momentum, or you could take a trade, it could go in your direction. If it hardly moves, then you're not gonna get out with any profit. You may get out, break even, a small profit, a little loss, but the idea is to try to make money, okay? So one contract you could have bought, paid 2100. That's not cheap, but it's cheap for Amazon, I guess. Sold at 72, you could have made $5,100 profit. Now let's look at the drop. So this was on the 18th. So here we go, hit the drop, boom. Okay, there's the move. And again, this was a put. What is a put? A put is basically a short, okay? 
We are buying puts and selling puts. We are buying calls and selling calls. So again, that's what one of the letters looks like, okay? So starting at the beginning of the year, January again was a really big month. If you took an advanced trader risk, these are all the trades we did, positives and the negatives. The Q's was a winner, 28,200. We've had a lot of market trades. Tesla, 4,600. SPY was 7,200. Netflix was a huge trade, 37,500. We've done that a lot this year as well besides the market. QQQ's 35,000. Facebook, 13,500. NVIDIA, 14,000. Netflix, 8,800. Q's 9,000. Again, this is all an average risk of around 8,000. So you can see here with these profits around what you'd be hitting as far as return on investment. Apple, 67.50. Spy, 9,000. Q's was a loss. I usually, I don't kill trade in the middle of it. So if, if I take a trade on Monday and it never goes right, never, ever goes green, never goes positive, never goes anywhere or barely goes, I don't kill it. Okay, I'll hold it to the last day. But if I'm up in something, I'm not going to hold it, you know, to the last day if I'm up a good amount in it. Like, that doesn't make any sense because it could go bust the last day. But I could be in stuff to the last day waiting for it to go. But some people kill them at 50%. At, at I don't do that, but I'm just letting you know. That's your choice. That's not like a rule. Netflix, 78, 75. Tesla was a loser. We've hardly done that this year. Spy worked out very well. Amazon lost. Facebook, big winner. Netflix, this was 6,300, 5,500, 5,000, 4,000. Huge trade in the Spy, 515. And a huge trade in the Q's, 39.6. Nice winner in the Spy, 16.8. Nice winner in the Q's, 15.4. Goldman was a little one. That really didn't get going. Spy one, spy another winner, and another winner in the spy. Amazon, 20,400. Diamond, 67.50. Facebook, we've done a lot this year, 7,200. Again, huge momentum, huge volatility. These are good plays. Q's was 11.5, then 11.250. Spy was 40,600. Netflix, 18.6, 16.8. Sometimes what I will do is I will stack it. I will take one strike and then another strike and another strike. And that's why sometimes you see like the Q's and the Netflix, you see I'm doing a lot of these. Like I'll stack them. QQQ 16.2, SPY 22.6. Like for example, like if I think something's going to run up, I might do a higher strike and then another higher strike. Do you know what I mean? Like or one at the money and then a higher one. I think it's going to keep going. So I'll stack them like that. Then the costs are, are, are different. And again, you could do them all. You could do one. You do whatever fits your budget. Apple, 5,500. Spy, 7,500. Q's, 4,200. Spy was a loser. BA one. Apple one. Microsoft, little one there. And that is so far this year. Now, as far as the risk, again, if I happen to have a day, well, first of all, I might get up on a Monday and I might not see any trades. So then we might not do anything. You, I don't know. I don't know till I get up in the morning. I don't know like what I'm going to do tomorrow. Okay, I don't know till I get up. Now, if I see that we're going to have a fabulous, really big mover day, like the market is going to go a certain direction, power trend, whatever, we're going to get the market up or down. Again, I'm very good at reading price action. I rate the gap using my system. I might call six trades, eight trades. All with directional bias of the market and market-related stocks or stocks that I know are going to go with the market or varied strikes on one day. So, like, I might not call any trades on a Monday, and then Tuesday I might call eight or something. So, again, you have to determine how much you're risking per trade and how many trades you want to be in at one time. So that's something for you to think about, too, once you get a feel for the letter, once you join what you're doing it. So that's something to consider as well. But these are all showing an advanced trader risk. You can risk more, you can risk less. Like I said, you can risk $500 a trade, $300 a trade. You will not be able to do certain things that are a certain price point if you're risking a certain amount, if they're expensive like Tesla or Amazon, but that's okay. You can still do plenty of the trades, plenty of things we do. You've seen the ones, you know these stocks, you know these companies. Everything we do has volume. I'm not doing anything that doesn't have volume. And you're familiar with them too. So do what you can afford. It's better to do that so you can let the trade play out. You can trade with a beginner risk, and that is one of the reasons why people love options. Plus, you can open up a small account and build it up. Like I was talking about with the other gentleman, you know, how you can take a, a small account and build it because you can get these big movers. Like I was talking about Facebook. 
I don't have my charts up right now, or I'd show you Facebook, but Facebook was one that just bombed on the earnings and we were in the puts and then it went down like 50 plus points. So that's how you can take one contract and make like almost five grand. So we do have trades like that, not every day, but there are trades like that, which is why people love to do this with a small risk and you don't have to have a margin account, you can open up an account as a cash account. If you don't understand this, you need to call your broker, ask all the questions. But, but again, again, as far as doing options, options I'm, I'm not doing complicated, complicated option strategies. I'm buying the put and selling the put when we're out. I'm buying the call and selling the call when I'm out, okay? And I will just sell it out even if it's dead on the last day, and that's a good habit to get into anyways. Now, if you want to learn my system, the rating system, you can learn it, but you've got to learn it in the little get course. This is not a prerequisite for the letter. I find that a lot of people Get on the newsletter, make money in the newsletter, and then say, you know what, I want to learn how to do this, and I'm going to take the class, and they do it later on. It could be a month, could be three months, could be six months into being in the letter. So that's up to you. But again, the benefit of trading options is that you can trade them with a small account, and a lot of people like that about doing options. Now, whatever you end up deciding to do, do what works for you. What is the reason you want to trade? Why do you want to do options? How much time do you have to devote to trading per week? You don't, you don't have to trade, trade every day. I already got done telling you some days we don't have any trades. You know, you have to make it work for you. What if what if I call this trades, then you get the trades, then you put in the orders, then you have a meeting, put a sell order, a day order, cancel order to sell you out of it at 50% or 100%. If you can't watch it to the targets, then just put a sell order so you don't miss it if it goes up particular day. Sometimes things go the same day I call them. Sometimes things take a couple of days. You don't know. You don't, don't know, okay? okay? This, this is, is why you have to be patient and you can't risk more than you can afford so you can let the trades play out because absolutely not all of them are day trades. This is, this this is, is not, not about getting in and out in five minutes. minutes. That's the day trading. This is options trading. I want a move. I want a bigger move, preferably a bigger move with these things. But now I could get it on the day, in which case I'd be out. But sometimes it takes another day. You know what I'm saying? And that is one of their things about options. And I, I think I've really gotten, I mean, this year is really, I think I've really just perfected that because I'm, I'm looking at the direction and I'm really, I'm just honing in more on the timing because the timing is what really kind of screws a lot of people up with options. Plus they don't get the direction right in stocks or the market. And I'm good at reading the market too, but it's like, it's, I'm just honing in on that timing of it because that really does make a big, big difference. Uh, so anyways, if you're interested in learning it, you could take my Golden Gap course if you want to learn the strategy. Now, if you just want to sign up for the newsletter, here are your options. I do not have any trials. Don't ask me. I'm not going to give you one. People are making money with the letter. It's so valuable. No trials. If you want to sign up, you sign up. It's six months for $4,999 or 12 months for $6,999. So two options, no monthly and no trials, but no prerequisites. And many of you are following me for long enough, you know that I, you know, you know that you know how I'm calling these things. It's like you just got to jump in. And I think a lot of people just really have to make up their mind if they want to do it. You know, if you're losing and you want to stop losing and you say, I want to do something different this year, then it's an investment to do it. One year is a long time to be on the letter. Six months is even a long time to be on the letter. I just showed you all the trades so far this year to date, which is... <laughs> You know, we're only like a month or so into the year. So this is plenty, plenty of newsletters, even in six months, and a lot for 12. You have to give yourself time to get involved and do it, and you have to have a level of commitment. And I find that really is beneficial for people. And as I said, once they're committed and they're actively trading, because this is an active letter. I mean, I just got done telling you, sometimes I'll call 10 trades in one day. It's active. So... You're, you're involved, you're doing it, you'll get excited and reinvigorated and motivated to then learn and do the class, which I do, I do think helps people pull it all together. Sometimes when I'm calling trades that they just don't see, they just don't see, but that's okay. You know, you can do it without knowing the strategy, but I think it helps you. It's, it's whatever works for you. Again, if you'd like to sign up for the class, email me for upcoming dates. Class tuition is $6,999. Classes are always online. You can sign up if you want to, and I, and I always do the combo too, which is the trends after the Golden Gap. You can sign up for that as well. If you're interested, if you have questions, email me at melissathestockswish.com. Remember, 
Trading success is within your grasp and within your reach, but you gotta have the right strategy. It's very important. And when you're doing options, you need two things. You gotta get the timing right, and you gotta get the direction right too. Have a great day, everyone.